Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having the most incredible day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, bitch, honey, you have found him. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would be so incredibly grateful. Girl, bitch, grab a snack and a drink because we need to talk about Pete Davidson, okay? This is actually pretty serious, so I'm gonna try and have a serious voice on this because, you know, you know me, I like to be messy, all right, bitch? But it says here that um, Pete Davidson has been in trauma therapy due to Kanye West's online harassment. The attention and negativity coming from Kanye and his antics is a trigger for Pete and he had to go and seek help. Since April, he has been in trauma therapy in a large part um, because of all of the negativity and threats that Kanye did. So since April, he's been in trauma therapy. Uh, it says that, you know, Kanye's antics is a real trigger for him. And it was so bad that he just couldn't handle it by himself. He could not do it. He had to seek help. And basically... Um, now that him and Kim are not together, it says that he's still in therapy because it is like a trigger for him. It's a trauma for him now. So he has to like heal from everything he went through from one day, you know, date, you know, from one day being, you know, just on Saturday Night Live. Yeah, you dated Ariana Grande, but like, you know, Saturday Night Live blah, 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 to then being Kim Kardashian's boyfriend, Met Gala, Marilyn Dress, you know, this, that, that, this, paparazzi, da, 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 da. And on top of that, add Kanye West, bitch. Girl, listen, I would be in trauma therapy too, okay? But actually, Pete Davidson says he has no regrets for dating Kim and wants it to be made very clear that she's been nothing but supportive of him throughout their relationship. And moving forward, he just wants to focus on his career. Um, I think that Pete and Kim were destined to break up since the very beginning. I actually have been very vocal that I really love them together. I was so happy for Kim because she seemed so calm. She seemed so relaxed. She seemed so in love. She seemed like she was with her best, you know, best friend, boy best friend that she could flirt with, she can be his sweats with. Because I've always said that her and Kanye, girl, it looked like she was his mannequin. You know what I mean? Just like her, his walking mannequin. So it was very refreshing to see Kim just chill and be happy and be, you know, just be like Kim. You know what I mean? And obviously, you know, from one day dating freaking, you know, Ariana, then being single, being on sign up to that fucking Kim Kardashian, of course, it's a huge thing. And that's why I, I did think that, you know, it was not going to last because Pete does not seem the type that is obsessed with fame and it's obsessed with the limelight and the attention like the Kardashians are. Now we have to, we have to say what it is. We have to say the truth. Girl, they love attention, right? But Pete never really seems so in, you know, there mentally that he wanted this. And it's very sad and, and very, um, it's very sad that he actually, is in any kind of trauma healing because of Kanye West. And on top of it, Kanye West goes yesterday and posts about him and says, R.I.P. Skeet Davidson or whatever. I'm just like, Kanye, girl, that is not the way you're going to win back Kim Kardashian. You know what I mean? But I think that Pete, after dating Ariana, after dating Kim, I don't think he's going to date another celebrity. I really do think that he is going to just freaking like, you know, meet like hopefully like a lawyer or like, you know, uh, I don't know, a... a I don't know, bitch. You know what I mean? I don't know. Just like someone that's not in the limelight because I can't imagine, you know, not being able to go to the movies without, first of all, such a production of securities. First of all, such, you know, paparazzi in your face, people taking pictures, you know, people trying to grab you, people trying to, you know, scream your name, all of these things. Like it is very intense. And I think that may be part of the reason that they broke up. I know they said that it's because of scheduling and all these things, but let's be real, honey. I don't think Pete could take it anymore. I think he's like, look, I'm literally in trauma therapy because of this relationship. Like, I think I'm out, girl. You know what I mean? So I do, in my mind, I think that Pete actually dumped Kim. I don't think it was the other way around. I think that maybe, maybe it was mutual. 
Because, you know, Pete was like, girl, listen, this is this lifestyle is too much. And Kim was like, girl, listen, I think my lifestyle is too much for you. Or, you know, maybe you're just a little tad boring for me. You know, so I think they both have to find sort of like an equal balance of their next partners. I really don't think that Kim and Kanye will ever be together because I think Kim got a taste of what it's like to be with like a normal guy. Someone she can just be herself with, be calm with, be chill with. And... Once you get a taste of that, I don't think you go back to being a mannequin in a corset just walking like this. You know what I mean? So um, I feel really bad for Pete being in any kind of therapy because of, you know, threats or, 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 you know, things that Kanye did. I think Kanye really does owe Pete an apology, but I understand why Kanye is hurt. But at the same time, I don't think that's teaching his kids a lot. But anyways, changing the subject, bitch. I am so excited about the new season of the Kardashians. Girl, we're going to get Tristan. We're going to we're well, we're going to get this new baby. We're going to get Tristan. We're going to get the 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 more cheating things. We're going to get Kylie being canceled. Like I loved the move from E to Hulu. I absolutely love it. And I have said this so many times. The Kardashians are literally trailblazers for reality tv because let me tell you guys something this whole breaking of the fourth wall is fucking iconic it is so fucking it it's sort of like you have 3d glasses and you're watching really what's like going on in this show you know what i mean and i love that they turn they talk to the camera i love that we're really seeing like the real life kardashians but you know my my question for you guys is like until when are we going to be interested in the kardashians like the kardashians are literally people call them the american royal family like until when are they going to be interesting and the thing is that there's so many of them that there's always going to be drama. You know what I mean? Um, listen, we're going to see Courtney's wedding. Like, we're going to see so many fucking things. I am so here for it. I think that being in the spotlight like that, because I think there's some celebrities who get away with things and who can go to the movies, who can go here, who can go there, who just maybe wear a hat or some glasses. But I have seen how the Kardashians here in LA, they drive, how they, they go from one place to another. And there's literally like huge SUVs surrounding them. There's always so many bodyguards. You know, they're, 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 there's always such a high production in how or in when they go out. The same for Britney. Like, I've seen Britney when, you know, of course, because of this fucking conservatorship, but Britney always has an SUV also following her. They can never go anywhere by themselves. It is honestly so exhausting. Can you fucking imagine you're waking up one day hung over like hell and you don't have any food in the in the house. You don't want to post me. You want to go to the grocery store. You're all fucking bloated. You look crazy. And then there's paparazzi in your face, bitch. Oh, girl. Mm -mm. I'd throw up on that man. I would just throw up on that man. But anyways, I love you guys so much. It's so nice to have a chit chat about the Kardashians because literally no one in my life likes the Kardashians except you and me. So I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.